Hey guys, it's me Cubix, and today I'm going to be telling you how I personally tension my Diane cubes. This does exclude the Tyan 1 because that uses a different mechanism than the later Diane cubes, which have sort of a guhong type structure. Basically, what this will do is make sure that your Diane cubes can cut at least 45 degrees, and that's what you should expect uh, is a 45 degree corner cut. If it cuts more, like this, consider yourself lucky, but do not make that something that you should expect. But you should at least expect 45 degrees. If it can't do that, then you didn't tension your cube correctly. And I'm going to be telling you how I personally do it. The traditional way of doing it is, before you assemble the cube, you look at the core and you make sure that the space between the centerpiece and the core is about a penny's width apart when you pull on it. And that's how Lubix does it, to my knowledge. It rarely does work, simply because when you screw in a centerpiece, it doesn't always go in straight into the core. Sometimes it's crooked like this, which is why when you turn it, sometimes some sides are looser than others even if you tension it correctly so my method makes it easier it doesn't matter how the cube came so if you bought it assembled you can still do it my way without taking the cube entirely apart it's very easy to do so the first step is obviously to take off the center caps put them in a pile like so and this cube currently is tensioned perfectly but what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove to you that the tensions aren't even by randomly loosening and tightening this. So let's just do, say, the white side. So the white side is a lot looser than, say, the blue side. Um, and as you can see, it's really loose, and it can't cut 45 degrees. And some people are like, oh, do I loosen the cube more? And no, you don't. If you look at why it's not corner cutting, it's really obvious what I'm about to tell you. Look at this corner piece. It's getting caught on this edge piece. This side is too loose. If you loosen it even more, it's not going to be able to make that shift right there. So for this side, you obviously want to tighten it. Now, I don't remember which side I tightened. Okay, there you go. So you can see it's so tight that it can't cut that corner. And you can see because this part isn't flexing. There's no space in between. Back on the white side when we tried to cut, look at this space in between. So that's how you know that this side was too loose. So to tension it properly, you tighten it a little bit at a time. And you keep testing it. Now you see it still flexes. So that means it's still too loose. You just keep doing this. So it's still too loose. Oh, that seems to be really good. And sometimes if you over tighten, so I might have over tightened, you'll realize that it doesn't cut corners as well. And so you'll want to actually loosen it just a little bit. It's a very fine line between too tight and too loose. So it's not easy tensioning these, but the method behind it is pretty simple. So the white side is pretty good. Um, the orange side orange side might be might be a little tight actually yeah it's a little tight so you want to just loosen it a little it wasn't too tight uh, a little bit more maybe okay so here you see I over loosened it and now it's actually too loose because it's getting caught right there so you want to tighten it just a little still too loose. It's a very tricky procedure, but uh, it's well worth it. Let me adjust the camera angle here. Alright, it seems to be cutting that. Nope, still too loose. Might still be too loose. There we go, look at that. If you find that the fine line between tight and loose is really hard to determine, skip it. Come back to it, because sometimes it has to do with the opposite side. So for, in this, for instance, this red side is way too loose. So tighten this up. It also helps when you put in the center caps sometimes. Okay, so that's nice. So the red side's good now. The blue side is... It's hard to tell, actually. It's too tight. Um, so loosen this up. So now it's too loose. There we go, look at that. 
So the green side has been done. Yellow side is good. White side's good. So all the tensions have been set now. So plug in your center caps. What you'll realize is that if you tension it, it may cut equally on all sides, but that doesn't mean that they're screwed in equally on all sides. And that's why this method is really nice, because it's dependent on the cube, um, and it's not as... It's just, yeah, see, look at that. It's perfect. Um, but if you stretch it, you'll notice that the white side is a little bit tighter than the yellow side, yet they cut the same. Well, that's ironic, wasn't it, that I didn't cut that? But, uh, yeah. So they both cut 45 degrees now, and... For, as for reverse corner cutting, that'll just naturally become about three-fourths of a QB. Maybe a little bit more. But that's how I tension my Diane 3x3s. It works for at least the Guhang and the Zanchi. Uh, it does work for the Ling Yun as well, just because the structure that they have is pretty much the same thing. It's all very similar. That's why this works. And the corners all have that little uh, dip, which is what gets caught on the edges. So if you just tension it this way, I think you'll find that the cubes are... See, look at that. Um, and if you get lucky, you can cut corners that are past 45. Um, but it's not something that you should expect to happen. Like that, that's really nice. But you shouldn't expect all cubes to do that. But you should expect cubes to cut 45 degrees. And that is how you tension Diane cubes, in my opinion. That's the best way to do it. It also helps if you lubricate the cube before doing it, because if the cube is too dry, um, it's not going to work very well. But yeah, this is just something that I wanted to show you guys because I've seen so many videos where people are complaining that their cubes don't cut when it's really because their cube is just too loose and they think it's still too tight. It's not. Loosening the cube doesn't make it co cut corners more. It just creates lockups. Oh my god, I wear the same clothes. Basically, I only wear this stuff for you guys. I'm naked usually in my room because it's my room. Uh, but because some of you are so young, I have to dress myself. And so after this video is done back off so that's why you also don't see me standing because I'm not wearing pants right now so you only see my upper body uh, it was okay that's that's a little too far you didn't need to know that too much information uh, but I guess it's too late now all my vlogs have been moved to my other channel cubics life and this way I can just separate the two so again it's vlogs on whatever side uh, I think cubing is this side vlog is that side I have a new vlog up so you can go check that out and then this side is uh, the last cubing video, which was a 10.90 average of 5, which I thought was pretty good. You might think so too, so you can click on one of those. Also, I want to challenge you guys. I want to challenge you to help me out and get me to 1,200 subscribers by the end of March, which probably won't happen, but it's sort of a goal. And uh, if I could get to 1,200, I don't really know what I would do. I would probably make a ton of videos, which I do anyway, but... Um, I'll have to cut some of this out so that it sounds like I'm... the never mind. Alright, make sure you like the video and please do share my channel or video to, uh, to your people. Uh, 1200 subscribers is my goal. Next video is going to either be the Advanced F12 series or it's going to be my setup. Both videos I think will be pretty interesting for you guys. Other than that, that's it. Toodles.